What's up, y'all? How y'all doing, man? We back at it with the Workman Podcast. We got an interview for y'all today, bro. We switching it up, man. What's up, yes, Chris? <laughs> What's up? I'm What's cooling, up? bro. I'm good, bro. You know, <laughs> chilling, dog. It's, it's another day. Just got back up fresh off of work not that long ago. Went coach my kids, you know what I'm saying? But we here. You know, we, we here to hear from the man with the plan. You feel me? But yeah, That's man. It. Y'all know at the Workman Podcast, we come here to give y'all personal, professional, and financial guidance, you know, just to navigate through this new world, you know, give you the strategies that you need to be successful to build wealth in this new generation of... Uh, of assets, you know. So today we got a special guest. We got my boy Jalen Myers, a fellow Tuskegee alum right here. <laughs> oh, Jalen is a blockchain enthusiast. He also is deep into the software development space. He actually has a software development company and uh, he's also involved in several other projects that I'm gonna let him get into because I'm not that, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not like that. So I'm gonna let him go ahead and do that. What's up, Jay? Hey, man, everything's going bless, man. I'm Jalen Myers again, graduate from Tuskegee University, um, Atlanta native, Atlanta baby. You know, just learning. Learning and living through life. Yeah, blockchain enthusiast, um, networking. So one of our projects that we have right here is a parlay tag. It's a networking tool. So all the networking tool is, is being able to have a communication between you and somebody else when you're at you know, somewhere else where it can be just quick, fast, easy, and um, well and good. Uh, one thing that I, you know, I, I breed on is collaboration. So, you know, you need necessarily have a lot more people, you know what I'm saying, kind of building a community about what you got going on. So this networking tool is one of those communities that you can build. Um, it's also one thing about this uh, missing chip programming. So I'm an engineer by trade. Um, I'm an engineer by, I graduated with a chemical engineering degree. Um, I'm also been pursuing my MBA and different things like that. But uh, what this tech product can do, you know what I'm saying? It's our first iteration from changing from something from software to actual hardware product. Mm -hmm. So it's so beautiful that we can actually um, amplify and um, electrify, you know, what we have on. You know what I'm saying? You can communicate and transmute various things onto a screen. That's kind of like what I meant to as far as app development, as far as web development, as far as websites. Um, all those type of things, being able to um, get a access and a need, you know, at a point in time from what a person has, um, mm. you know, from ordering fulfillment issues and different things like that. Like if you want to order a Gatorade, if you're thirsty. Oh, oh, oh. did he take a sip of the Gatorade? Okay. <laughs> hey, you different. Hey, you different, bro. You different. Hey. Hey, but y'all heard the man. So, so y'all know what this podcast is about to be about, bro. We we talking about actually getting active in the space right now, bro. As we know, there's two things for sure that's not going nowhere, and that's real estate and that's technology, bro. You always gonna need somewhere to stay, and the world is getting more and more, you know, digitized every single day. So we're gonna get into that. This is the episode for you if you if you love the digital space. You feel it's me? Fair. So yeah, man. So I really want to get into this topic because um you know, with everything that's been going on with cryptocurrency and NFTs and, you know, uh, blockchain, I really want to get your, your thoughts on this. Like, what, what would you say is a, is a good definition for blockchain coming from a software, you know, someone who's really deep into the space, you know? Yeah, so blockchain is also like a network, basically a, a ledger to where everybody can see a communication piece. So coming from um, like a server, so a server is something that houses data. So the houses and the stores that as far as, you know, we have in different um, information flying in and out of, or, you know, different transactions or different fees or different movements and tracking everything that's what's going on. So on the blockchain is something that where different transactions is housed. So on the blockchain, there's also an extended ledger. Now on the extended ledger, you will be able to necessarily uh, put it together where we all be able to view it at one point in time. That's what makes the blockchain so, you know, so beautiful that it all can be viewed at one point in time. You know what I'm saying? That we all can view something. So from a, a corporate perspective, you know what I'm saying? The blockchain is needed from um, a fulfillment, you know, so just in case a pump goes out, like a centrifugal pump or let's say a rotary on a machine or something goes out, it can communicate to, other computers to let them know instead of making those long cold calls that you had to do 
it necessarily automates and it makes it easier because I can see that, okay, if something just went out, um, let's say in, you know, left field. So something in left field, um, it can necessarily come back on and it can easily be able to uh, be able to see um, and be seen. And once you do something like that, it will be able to uh, get something done quickly. So you will be able to uh, create a fulfillment and a purchase order quickly. Mm, okay. So it sounds like the blockchain is not necessarily strictly to be used for uh, a NFT or cryptocurrency or like all these like digital assets. It can be used just in the corporate space as a tool to kind of keep up with your equipment or keep up yeah. with documentation and stuff like that too. Sure. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Cause I feel like a lot of times we get that misconception. We hear blockchain and it's like, we automatically connected to Bitcoin or we automatically yes, connected to Ethereum or something like that. But right. actually taking the fundamentals of the technology and applying it to other aspects of the world is really where the, the value of it is at. That's what it sounds like. Correct. Yeah. Okay. And I, I like Correct. how you use the, uh, that that example like i didn't even think about the blockchain in that in that space like how it could be used in corporate because i'm in quality assurance so i work in aerospace right and <laughs> as a quality assurance hardware engineer we have to we have to make purchase purchase orders you have to create work orders and you have to get that get all those parts in so i i would i would think that in that space if like let's say we order some parts for a project and they came in and due to our supply chain, right? Talk about blockchain supply chain. Let's think about it like that. And let's say we use the part, but it's a, it a defect and we had to, you know, get rid of it and we needed to order another part. So you basically saying that that part, because once we put it in the system and it goes out or it's not no longer usable, it'll be able to automate that transaction instead of us having to go through and make an order personally and call a supplier and do all that other yeah. stuff basically exactly. it'll make that it'll make that whole process quicker as opposed to having to go through supply chain having to go through you know production control and all these other different type all these other different functions that kind of make the process really really long right right yeah exactly yeah. i never i never even thought about it like that like when whenever you just said that <laughs> it made me think about all the other things that we could use the technology for that we exactly. haven't even it could just improve processes in general you know, exactly. like these like things that's been giving us these headaches for so long. Cause I know I work at a, a chemical plant. So like every time a pump go down, sometimes we don't even know until the whole system trip, you know, for but sure. if we can know right on site and then we can go hurry up and fix the problem before the whole unit shut down, but you sure. saving millions of dollars right there. You, feel yes, sir. You, can, you can transmute that to, uh, you know, many different walks of life. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people going through like when something goes down, um, you know, you know, uh, physically, mentally, emotionally, finding different ways to be able to use it, to be able to, you know, you know, get it back to what it's like, you know what I'm saying? So like, that's the, you know, wonderful thing about that. Okay. So, um, yeah, uh, yeah, it seems like you deep in the, you deep in the space, bro. So like, what do you, what do you feel like will be the next big, I guess, like adoption of the, of the technology? Like what, what kind of utilization do you think would be like the, well, next, right the next wave? Basically, so the main thing right now is NFT. So everything going on right. NFT, like one of the one of the main things. You know what I'm saying? NFTs is 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 is, is really jumping right now. So being able to, I would consider NFTs like an auction form of you know what I'm saying being able to, uh, you know, justify art. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And being amplify art and being able to. Uh, get to a point where uh, we'll start using blockchain more, you know, regularly. Mm -hmm. So you'll, you'll be able to use like the money that you have, like how like the crypto arena um, out there in LA. So with the crypto arena out there in LA, you'll be able to uh, be able to start using cryptocurrency and money. But one thing about cryptocurrency and money right now is something that is not actually as, uh, you know, um, Cash, cash rules, cash rules everything around us. 
you know, but we're trying to move to a more electrified and a more electrified state. We're trying to build the world on a bounce. So that's, that's what I say. Um, I said that in um, in, a, in, a, in, a, in an expression in the song. We're trying to build the world on a bounce and build it in a new infrastructure. So we're trying to necessarily, we have this mm-hmm. new infrastructure we're building in. So we have these crystalline um, lines that's going into the ground. Oh, wow. So now, yeah, so now we have so you. So you're saying we're trying to take, we're basically trying to take the world as it is and digitize it. But right now we're trying to, I guess, assemble the infrastructure that we need to get it to that state. Because right now the development is outpacing the hardware for it, it seemed like. And then we're trying to, and that's why, you know, you, you was telling me about the, uh, the infrastructure bill. They actually had some, some things in there that like address this, this issue. Like, can mm-hmm. you kind of explain that? What's going on with that? The infrastructure deal, so I know what AT&T, what AT&T is doing with the infrastructure deal is they have these new wires. So we kind of like going away from copper wires, so we're going to crystalline wires. So now we have all this information from music videos, these high-end um, um, uh, 4K, 8K, um, high-stream, um, YouTube, uh, yeah, direct. 5G, all of that. Five. <laughs> All those, you know, new things that's going on that we have going on. So all these new five G is necessarily flowing and shooting through, shooting through what's going on um, up under the ground, which is going to make everything good. It's faster for app development, mm-hmm. which is which is going to be better for uh, app development. It's going to be better for music. Mm-hmm. It's better for sending things um, through things. They have an app called um, United Market um, that was created over there at the gathering spot. So being able to send loops and different things like that. Yeah, yeah so. bro. Yeah. Like, um, all right. So okay. it sounds and it sounds like this is the future. High compressible, <laughs> high, high compressible information. So to uh-huh. be able to high compressible information okay. is uh what's going on. Yeah. So it sounds so, like the infrastructure bill, even though they're not really publicizing it as like a way to get us more into a digital world. It seems yeah. like based on what's actually in the bill, that's what the whole grand scheme of it is really for. Cause I, I was under the impression it was for like construction, right. you feel me? But after talking to you, it made me kind of realize that it's more towards building the infrastructure for us to go into the metaverse, low key. Right. <laughs> to kind of get us there. <laughs> more than, more yeah. things, metaverse and different things like that, that nature. So like, tell me this, man. I, I, I wanted to ask you this. We're well versed in at this point in time. I wanted, I wanted to ask you, bro, how do you feel like the, the culture can get involved in this technology? Because right now it seems like overseas and, you know, some parts of the U.S. are like heavily into it. But it seems like, you know, I, I looked it up. It was like Vietnam. China's heavy into it. The U.S. is heavy into it, but it's not like our demographic per se that's really heavy into the blockchain space. Like, how do you see us fitting in and like where we can actually take advantage of this technology? Yeah, so far as creating, you know what I'm saying? Um, the NFTs, I feel like that's, a, that's the best way for us to be able to get in at this juncture. It hasn't reached to the point where they start building those networks and start setting those things up, you know, in those big chemical facilities as you are. So the quickest way to end, to get in right now, would be doing, um, you know, selling NFTs, we'll be doing music, we'll be doing United Masters, we'll be doing um, various things like that, you know, um, just giving easier expressions, smaller compressible things to be able to get, you know, into the space. So to actually build it up. So one thing about it, also you have to build a part up like the load up of you know, um, how much information that we have going on to the blockchain and different things of that nature and what's going on. See, what drives it is transactions. So you need more and more transactions. You need more and more things to it. You need to build a ledger up. Um, yeah. So, and then what's into, what's in, once you get into the ledger, then you'll have different, you know, website, different spaces, different things that you can go out onto the ledger and then, you know, it'll be able to expand, and, you know, in that nature. So basically what it sounds like you're saying is if there's any time to hop in, it's really now. So you can like really learn about it now and really get and before it gets too far ahead for us to yeah. Learn, yeah. Really be able to get, you know, yeah. get that access. Because no, we get to a point where we, it's going to be hard for us to really grasp what's really going on. I feel like as a culture, you know, what I'm right. saying? Because of advancement technology. And we've seen how it's advanced in like the past, just the past 10 years for real. 
from where we were 10 years ago, the world looks, looks completely different than it did te- technologically 10 years ago. You know right. what I'm saying? So like, right. so how did you, so how did you get started in this space as far as like, uh, you know, NFTs, crypto, um, even this, the software space, like how did you, how did yeah. you get started? Yeah, not in. You know, um, Malachi and Moses, they, they're number one. You know, they, they are, they're ahead in, you know, this, this We Parlay project. This is their baby. And that's something um, that I got into them with them with. So, you know, they helped me with my development and my app development and different things. That nature. That's something I want to bring up for um, as well as Gentrospot. Gentrospot is um, also an app on real estate. Um, different things like that. Um, these new builds. So they have, like, these new builds that's coming up, like these smart homes. Um and uh, that's you know that's coming up and that's coming around that we necessarily need to put our our attention to you know as far as driving up our side and driving up our black community. Yeah, so gentrification. Tell me, gentr- tell, me t- tell me more about that smart home because you was the first person to tell me about you know they have bills to build these these smart these smart yeah. homes now now there's like a big incentive come, for it. I mean, they, man, it's, man, it's nice. They come in, they got like the. Uh, Come in and heat up your floors for you. You have your your, your different things from thermostats coming in. Um, you know, electrify from the electric cars, different things like your, your panels and different things. So there's so many different ways as far as your lighting, you're helping y'all out with your, with your lighting, your, your power, your Georgia power on how much uh, stuff costs and different oh, things. So they that. not they not playing. They really like connecting the house <laughs> to the grid, like Man, connecting your house. <laughs> okay. Forth. Able to connect your house to your grid and your house will be able to communicate with other houses. So, you know what I'm saying? Understanding the load and understanding your amperage, um, understand that, you know, and then taking those type of things and, you know, putting different things from like your transformers and pulling different things from. Uh, are, they, are there any like security concerns with that? Right there to your app and transmuting that to your screen and different things mm-hmm. like that. You know, that's the, uh, that's the beautiful part. Are there are there any security concerns with that, with that technology? Yeah, it's security with with everything out here. You know what I'm saying? It's mm-hmm. security, a lot of things. So that's why you always gotta have um, a community and a, and, a, and, a, and a team always on watch, no matter you know what I'm saying where you want to go. So that's the one thing and important about just building that community and building that bridge uh, together. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know? Yeah, because like I, whenever you said the smart homes, that that like kind of interests me because I'm I'm heavy into real estate. Like I have a few investment properties now, and I'm working on building a, a new build, new construction right now. So, you know, just getting into that space is actually one of my you know goals. You know, moving forward, right. I know the the world is getting more digitized, so your home is going to be more digitized. We already got the Alexas in here. We got the series on our phone, so we're getting used to interacting with the technology. So it's only a matter of time before the the whole damn house you could talk to it. You right? Exactly. <laughs> really gonna be yeah, like a uh, smart house. Look deeper into that, bro, for sure. Yeah, like the movie Smart House, bro. Movie Smart House, basically, yeah, bro. That was so long ago, too. Yeah, exactly. But, like, it's really coming. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. So it's about that time and understanding um, your time and. When your time of coming in, understanding like perfect timing and stuff like that. So, you know, all those things are coming in. You know, it's gonna, it's gonna be, um, you know, the beautiful part about it. Those concept cars, you know, like Drake had, you know, in his, uh, in his, you know, laugh at my pain. You know what I'm saying music videos. You know what I'm saying those 1950s, and a lot of those things are actually coming into fruition right now. We like starting and to be able to see those things to be able to come um like right down the street from my house they they got something called pinpoint and um, that's kind of like one of the first iterations you know within my hood you know of zone for atlanta you know something i talk about a lot all the time is um you know one of the gentry spots you know stand for like that so gentrification um is you know is, is prevalent so uh, my grandmother just now, you know, we finally purchased our home, and they said they appraised at four hundred thousand. So now we're bringing the property value of, of our entire, you know, what I'm saying, and it's infrastructure of where we at, you know, what I'm saying, different things closed down in our mall, like our Macy's was taken, um, a lot of our clothes was taken, you know, what I'm saying, and stores and stuff was taken out of our mall, you know, what I'm saying, different things of that nature. But now, you know, what I'm saying, with that, we have so many different things with the property value going up, we'll be able to bring those type of things in. You know, how you're saying like a 
issues, you know, a lot of security issues been going up because a lot of people is looking like a, and on a looking glass they don't have or like they see. So that gives us the ability to allow it out. You know, you can build things with shipping containers. They're finding newer ways in engineering. You know, that's why mm -hmm. I felt like such a beautiful thing else for us to get to, just to be able to help improve and, you know, any situation that we'll be able to walk into. Dang, bro. It's that crazy powerful, that you... Bro. That was powerful. <laughs> yeah. you know it's crazy that you mentioned gentrification. Easy, make, it, make it easier, make it simpler, you know, shipping as you got all type of things that you have. And when you said, I like how you, when you mentioned uh, gentrification, right? Uh, I think, you know, I'm starting to really, like, starting to really see that. Like, even when I go back to home in New Orleans, you feel me? Like, I'm realizing different, like, different areas is getting built up. Like, I'm seeing houses that was never there getting built up. And I kind of see how stuff is really starting to formulate. And so, when you mentioned gentrification, spot, that was like, the con just the concept of it was very, very unique. And, uh, like even here, like even out here in LA, which in Los Angeles where I'm at right now, you know the Super Bowl is here, right? And so that's so far stadiums like a three, four, five billion dollar stadium, right? But they slapped it right in the middle of Inglewood, right off of Crenshaw, bro. Like right. so, so it's like when you when I saw that, like literally while I practice and coach my kids, I can look at the stadium, but that's in the middle of Inglewood. So I'm looking at it and. Uh, you can just kind of see where things are going. It's trying to build up different things. And then they have like a Hollywood casino park, which is like basically like a casino and a, a, a hub for people to go have different venues, different events, stuff like that. And right. then yeah, even as I was driving, I, uh, I started seeing all the stuff for the Super Bowl, saw Hollywood Park, but then I saw they right next to it, they building the stadium for the Clippers. Right, exactly. So I'm like, so I'm like okay. So I'm like, oh, it's really about to go up. Like, so all these what? houses. <laughs> yes, bro. I saw that literally today. Like, and it's into it. So, you know, you know, the people, you know, the people that uh, <laughs> own, like, QuickBooks and TurboTax and all that. So they're going to be the sponsor of that. Into of that. it? Into yeah, it? Into, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that's the name of it. That's how you pronounce uh -huh. it. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they're going to basically sponsor, like, how Crypto.com has the arena now. It's going to be into it, like, into it uh, dome or something like that. Wow. For the and so when I saw that, I was like, you already got, so far, was just built a couple of years ago. You already put $3 billion slapped in the middle of the hood, right? So I'm like, okay, gen this gentrification really about to happen because as soon as that happens, and as soon as, and it's coming in 2024, so it's in like the next two years, it's supposed to be built up. You Man, see what I'm saying? So like, what's your, what, what y'all think about that? Because because when I hear that, I hear people getting pushed out of a community and literally like the, the kind of like the surface area of where you're able to afford to live is getting so small to right. where like you're going to be living on top of people at this point. Exactly. Right. I, that's, that's what I see. Like, is that not harmful to the community right. to a certain it, extent? Right, it right. It, it's going to be stressful on people. I find that it's going to be necessary to create more of a stressful environment once they're in environments like that. Um, that's mm. why architecture is going to, you know what I'm saying, be very, um, into mainframe about what's going on, about how things look and different things of that nature. So architecture is going to be very important. Um, so, you know, architect mm. architecture is very important once you put things in, just to, you know, put everybody at an ease and in a, in a, in a face mindset. What you I didn't even at, think about it like that. <laughs> um, uh, those electrician problems and different things of that nature. So you can't have a lot of, you know, we have a lot of old, you know, housing projects and stuff like that in Atlanta. Um, that was kind of like knocked down and they were revitalized. So, you know, it's about, you know, once once we build it up, you know what I'm saying, sometimes we only have a certain amount of money or a certain amount of money is only allocated to a certain place. Um, that's one of the main things that we're missing is funding. Funding and having access um, to, you know what I'm saying, what's going on. So funding and, uh, and access to, you know, low poverty black communities in, in the high major cities, far as Chicago, far as LA, far as New York, far as where you guys at in New Orleans, is something that is going to be pivotal um, to our success once we're coming in, as far as coming in with these new different um, bills. You know, it's about how you want to build. Now that we're collecting all this money, how do we want it to look? You know what I'm saying? You know, what do we want to, how do we want to, how do we want to be represented? What do we want to Exactly. Yeah, how do we, we can't, we can't, we can't continue to create it the same way that it was in 1950 and expect people to have a good mentality towards it. Right. So we got, we got to, we got to update the design to the new minds that, that exist right. now. 
Because you right. you might have somebody go into now they got the goggles, they can go into the metaverse and have a better experience than they have it in their in their house. So right. whenever they actually get out in their in their environment, now they they overly aggressive, they upset, they frustrated because the only way they can escape is if they go into this technology. Right. You feel me? And they, right. they're basically gonna try to rock us to sleep with that. Exactly. And it, on the head, it's about it's about you know one thing about this life is about uh, you know you know life kind of moves in the has and the has nots. You know what I'm saying? It's about the aware and the not aware. So once somebody gets the ball rolling and moving and the money, they're gonna see where the movement is. They're gonna start moving and following. And that's why it's gonna be kind of like important for actually that thing that's you know that was allocated towards you know to come towards here is gonna be you know important for it to actually get built. You know what I'm saying? Down the street from me. You know what I'm saying? Because once one 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 of them get built, you know what I'm saying? The fact that we just got to the to the point where we owned our land for the first time, you know, our property value goes up and then the rest of the property value goes up. You know what I'm saying? Being able to, you know, have those high paying jobs coming into these big major cities. I know Atlanta is high like tech jobs and music. We're like the music capital of the world. You know what I'm saying? So since we're like the music capital of the world and generating that money, being able to, to and, and following some of that money back to, you know, rap rap music is is the number one genre. <laughs> right. You know, rap music brings in so much revenue, you know, from, from so many different ways, from the shows we have on TV, from so many different things that, you know what I'm saying, that... Uh, we, you know, we bring it in. So from that, from that being perspective, you know, funneling that back to our companies, you know, funneling that back to where we come from. You know what I'm saying? You hear different people like Lil Dirk talking about you want to buy old block. You know what I'm yep. saying? You hear about a lot of the struggle music. You know what I'm saying? Um, where we come from. You know, Jay Z is a hard not life for us. Um, there's so many different things. I got my own little piece of my own spirit and my own pain or what's going on. You know, everybody got their own pain. It's like, we have such a pain story, you know what I'm saying? And, and the white people, you know, they relate to it because they came from a pain standpoint, but they built their standpoint up. So mm -hmm. now it's about helping us out and finding the right way for us to be able to build our standpoint up. You know, that's how mm -hmm. I see I view it. So since they are already you know, it's kind of, it's almost like I got to help myself before I can help you, you know? Right. Like, um, I had to learn that too. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, I hope we get, uh, we can just end this with like a, a small mental health talk. But, uh, but that's why I had to learn too. Like sometimes we can give too much of ourselves to uh, a situation or somebody else and we can just forget about ourselves. So that's kind of like, you know what I'm saying? What, what, uh, you know, what, I don't. I don't want to make this a black or white type thing or a racial type of thing, but mm -hmm. the have not to say the have and the have not. So the person who have something is I have to amass it first. I have to put in the work first. I have to, you know, what I'm saying, see it. I have to vision. It. I have to smell it. I have to 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 breathe it. You know, what I'm saying, I have to. I have to. I have to live it before I can tell you the pitfalls. You know, what I'm saying, and everything was going on, so you can live it. Mm. You know, okay. what I'm saying. It's it's not like somebody has left you behind. Like I didn't leave you behind. I went. I went out into the forest first. I took the licks for you. So mm. now I can come back and, and, and tell you how to get to the licks now. Right. right. So you. So you saying we should kind of get out of the. I guess the victim state and more of a. Right. You know, right. Let's 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 build off what we have now. Like let's because right. we can't control the past. We can't control what happened. Right. Can't it's, it's, what, what, what happened happened. And in order for somebody to make up for that, the only way for somebody to make up for what happened is if they put themselves completely last and put themselves at a detriment. And who is going to do that? Correct. That's, that's, that's very unlikely to happen, especially Correct. in the world that we live in. So Correct. it's like the only sense that makes is to find the opportunities of this generation <laughs> and capitalize on them. I think the, the, the top 10, the top 10, the top 10 billionaires are, IT companies, they are IT. That's crazy. Why wouldn't you want to be in IT? The top, uh -huh. why wouldn't you want to be in IT? Because that's what we're using right now. You know, right. we're, mm. we're regarding, we're on laptops, we're on TVs, we're working from home. You got COVID-19, you got different type of things like that. You know what I'm saying? We're regarding so much. Right now we're using Zoom, you know, we're using the app right, right now. 
You right. know what I'm saying? I have so many different things um, coming through these different screens, these different phones, these different devices that we didn't have. And that could be, you know what I'm saying, pro, and they could be also against, you know what I'm yeah. saying, us time. You know what I'm saying? So being but the able only to- only way we know is if we get involved. Once we use way. and not be scared of it. Yeah. Right. Not be scared. Can't be careful. <laughs> The, the jump in the water. You can't be scared to jump in the fire. You can't be afraid to fail. Like I've said on the you know interview you know before, you can't be afraid to fail. You know what I'm saying? Life is a, life. Yeah, is if you're life. not failing, you're not trying. You know, failing, you know, failing, you're not trying. You know, you gotta keep your you gotta keep your learning lessons. Your learning lessons. You know. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Like that's that's powerful what you said. Like the top ten highest, you know, biggest companies is IT companies, bro. And like. For some reason, we still don't get that we need to be getting interested in this opportunity, getting getting involved in these communities, learning. And like, even if we went to school for something else, nobody said that you can't learn how to program. You could teach yourself how to program in a year. Yeah, you could teach yourself how to read code. You feel me? Cybersecurity, you can learn that in six months. Because right, all you right. got to do is audit, 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 audit. That's it. We need all those things because we need all eyes on it because, you know what I'm saying, yes. we're all a part of it. That's one thing I like about IT, you know what I'm saying? It's something, it's a community-driven thing. IT is a community-driven thing, you know what I'm saying? Different things like Discourse, um, that I've seen that, you know, the United Market use. Um, different things like that they're doing to, you know, fun things that, that's being put together to use to be able to understand you more as a person on who you are. Some people, you know, it's a lot more introverts now than they are extroverts. A lot of people mm. don't like So being able to have, you know, something like this product right here, the We Parlay Tag, where, you know, you can just be where, you know, you can be somewhere and you can't really have a long conversation or you like, you, or you a person that mm. gravitates to music like I do. I love to just like go to the club and just listen to music and play music, you know what I'm saying? That just feeds my soul, you know what I'm saying? So once that feeds my soul, you know what I'm saying? You take that phone and you tap that, you know, you tap that tag, you make a connection with somebody. Then, then being able to show who you are as a person before even getting here, being visual for that's what I call it, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, I, you know, I, I've, I've, I've had my, you know, my, my MC name, I'm an MC, my <laughs> MC vision. Hey man, I, I love I love everything you just said, bro. That was that was amazing. To see something before it happens, right? And like I feel like you was always like that. Like even when I was at Tuskegee and we were like in class together, I could just tell, like just based off your energy and like the way that you move, bro. Like you could just peep when somebody when somebody know. You feel me? Hey, bro, you had the you had some of the best. <laughs> Yeah, at school, bro. I ain't gonna right, lie. It was, and it was always love, whether we was in passing or we was really sitting there chopping it up. And I, and I could always tell just by when we were sitting there having a conversation, you'd be sitting there and you'd, you'd be talking to me. You'd be talking to me. I'm standing next to you, but you're looking out this way. It's almost like you're looking forward into the future. Right. Bro, what you're trying to and do. I wrote down my dream when I was 17 years old, man. I was one of those hyperactive kids. You know, me being 26 now and really understanding, going through different mental health issues, going through a lot of trials, going through a lot of ups, going through a lot of downs, and me understanding how my body works is um mm. is something um amazing, man. It's uh is 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 ravishing to me because I was such a hyperactive kid and I gravitated to all these things early. So mm. I couldn't really explain what was going on. So, you know, I have to use things like vision boards or different things like organization tools and those type of things. Um, you know what I'm saying? For me to be successful, that's why I was kind of like easier for me to gravitate and move. My, my friends call it the polarity. So mm -hmm. my polarity move between, you know, various rooms, you know, effortlessly and easily, you know, a little bit more swiftly and quickly than uh, most people just because I was visionful for the way I was moving. Um, when I was at a young age, mm. you had you had you had like a sixth sense almost. Like yeah. you always had like a sixth it, sense. Like the, I mean, that's one of the books I read. Thinking Grow Rich, mm -hmm. you know, that out mm -hmm. the people you know, having having that Bruh, sixth sense. Awareness. How do you? I want I want your opinion because you said that you you had to deal with some mental health issues as we all have our own mental health issues. So right. if you act like you don't have them, then some wrong. But uh. Right. Yeah, so you say so you say you went through that and like I want to get your opinion on this, bro, because this is actually something that I was uh talking to somebody else about uh earlier this week. And um it seems like the kids these days are not being raised by people anymore. 
Like, yeah, you get being raised by technology. Right, and that's something I had to. That's something that I had to to, to regard back to do too at the same time because some information that you want to you want to amass, you can't amass from your parents. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, I my my a lot of a lot of information I was learning and stuff like that did come from my phone. You know what I'm saying? Right. I watched a lot. I watched Earn Your Leisure. I watched Him Five right. Hundred. I watched a lot of podcasts. Um, you know what I'm saying? Drink Champs. All those type of things. Uh, I watch people, you know what I'm saying? Um, also as well, uh, you know, great-minded people, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I used to watch, uh, you know, I listen, I listen to audio books, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Those type of things, easier when you're in school, but when you're in a fast-paced environment, you have to, you know, you know, pay attention and listen to, to different things when you're in a concrete jungle and instead of when you're in a jungle when you're out in the school and stuff like that. But with that being said, um, you have to uh, just be aware. You have to just be be be, be aware of, of of what you want to learn. Yeah, but, would, that's the, but that's that's the part for me because it's like uh, they never really had the opportunity to even know what they like yet. That's what the organization piece was. So that's why you have to be not be afraid. Like a lot, a lot of the people be scared to be on phones. Or a lot of scared, be scared to follow pages, or be scared to have certain type of followers, or be scared to see certain things because they don't want to be influenced. Because that's mm-hmm. how you. Some people are influenced auditory. You know, it's it's almost going back to basics. If you are auditory, you are kinetic, or you are uh, auditory kinetic, or another. One. Mm-hmm. So those type. But when I'm going through therapy, you know what I'm saying, I'm finding myself, you know what I'm saying? Right now in my life right now, I'm more auditory in my learning. Also in my Tai Chi class like that, they talk about those type of things right now. I'm more auditory. I'm an auditory learner. I can hear something, I can see something, I can know it, I sense it, I can do it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Almost automatically easy, effortlessly. What I'm not good at is I'm not good at writing. I'm not good at organization. Like I can look at a young lady, her notebook, and I'll be like, man. <laughs> <laughs> How you do you know, that? It's like, <laughs> it's like little things like that 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 that, yeah. that to a woman or little things like that. Right. Her, like you know what I'm saying? Because that's something that I lack. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I'm mm-hmm. patient like that. I need that in my life. I don't got no. Your, your, your instincts mm-hmm. kick in. Your instincts and yeah. your your intuition of knowing yourself. You know, to do that mm-hmm. now. So that's what I'm learning to do. That's what vision board. That's what I'm more of a picture person. More. Of uh, my grandmother is calling me right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's our nightly game. My grandmama, that's our nightly game. <laughs> I'm trying to get back, get my words back together. Oh, yeah, bro. Handle your business, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, oh, we ain't going to hold you too much longer. No, um, no, no. Yeah, no I'm everything was going on. Everything yeah, was going on. But, uh, <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, so understanding what type of learner you are. So that's something that we should just pay attention to and, you know, as well as parents and stuff like that. Understanding what type of, you know, what, what type of person it is and, 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 and prescribing cell phones and information for children to use. You know what mm. I'm saying? Mm. You know what I'm saying? And also prescribing mm. it for yourself. See, I prescribe stuff out of, and three things. I try to prescribe three things to myself and always, you know, prescribe three things to myself. My mind, my body, my soul. I try to get up and do something every day. If it's meditation, if it's reading a chapter in a book a day, aligning it, you know what I'm saying, just to be able to get myself. I always got to get a workout in my body, you know what I'm saying, and my soul. What I'm doing right now is to get my soul is I'm doing music. So uh, once like you got, that. you're doing those things, no matter what nobody says, it's going to be the beautiful thing about it, you know. And, um, you know, and different things that I'm aligning myself was I was just seeing the flow of the world and just start seeing like what kind of gets the most flops. Okay, the most top ten billionaires, and you have to see how things move in a trend. You know, we talk about this as an engineer. You know, right. so the trend lines. You have to see things over time. We can't mm-hmm. just make a rest decision on 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 something. It has to be something that is over time, something that is um, detailedly looked at. And um, something that is prevalent uh, to the situation because it's so easy to get led astray. So, you know, making real firm, distinct uh, guidelines to follow, you know what I'm saying? Mm. 
and also for your business when you start doing your businesses and different things of that nature. So for the We Parlay, our, our guidelines is 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 networking, and 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 I want to kind of like get into the tech clothes space, right? Tech clothing space. You know what I'm saying? Um, chip programming. We can put anything on this chip. The fact that we just made uh, it's basically like a, a small list. We can put anything on this chip. You know, that's what's the, that's the beautiful thing about you know, um, technology. To be a technologist, you have to actually know what specific thing that you want to be done. You mm-hmm. can't, you know, you have, you have to, something, you have, you have to be around it. You have to have a conversation about what you want to actually build. You know what I'm saying? With the Gentrify app, you know what I'm saying? Um, would a map be better than a scroll bar? Like, what would be the best way to articulate and orchestrate a um to get the information out you know uh off better and you know quickly you know what i'm saying we want to create something like zillow you know so and 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 one thing about it um in those markets it's always more space because the more people you have on those apps the more apps you're going to need like it you know it's um it's like it goes off traffic yeah. So it's basically like the, the online for driving. So I'm driving right now. So since we're right here it's having a conversation, we're driving right now. We're driving traffic through Zoom. But we also have Microsoft Teams. And we also have Blank. So in this perspective right here, we have Parlay. Within Gentrospot, we have Zillow. We have other things that can be able to do um, that drive traffic through the same thing with with the, with the, with the music, I have a the, the music thing that I uh, started. It was started by my dad, and I'm, I'm I'm continuing with my dad. Platinum Slang Records. It was um, drives traffic. You know what I'm saying? And you know, funneling that traffic to be able to fund something and fund a bigger vision to create what we want to create over here in my area of of of, of Zone Four Atlanta, because it's basically untapped land right now. It's kind of warm at this point, you know, it just it came to that point where it's a lot of things that you can build up. I'm from Tuskegee, even though we're from Tuskegee out of Valley. So right. once we see something that is down, we like, yes, we buy mm-hmm. low, we build up, we sell high. Exactly. Yeah. We and see right. we, we see opportunities different just from, from going to that school. Yeah, <laughs> like, no, for real. <laughs> I, don't buy, I, don't buy I don't buy the best thing off the lot. I buy the no. picture. Exactly. Yeah. We love we love a fix up. But no, nah, bro. I want I want to end this conversation just All right, so like I really I really want to know what's your definition of success like from a from like a mental standpoint, from an emotional standpoint, financial business like what what would you call it? What would you call it, bro? Best for me right now at this point in time, I would say in life would be um, knocking off my to-do list, mm-hmm. taking it down. That's success for me. Um, I've already extended my mind to every field and facet that I want to get into. I don't want to get into any more fields or facets than I've already allowed myself. I, I took that time to actually not only write down what I want to do, but actively work in it and, and fail and succeed in it. Now I become the Kobe Bryant with the 24 jersey. You know, uh oh. Uh -oh. When you was young, (laughs) Kobe. Oh yeah. (laughs) You going crazy. As much information as I as I wanted, you know, because I was hungry and um, you know what I'm saying, I was starving like Meat Mill said, like you know what I'm saying, you want to go get it. Uh to to being able to actually uh feed it and uh become become great become great in it become great in it you know what i'm saying he he won he won a couple of, you know what i'm saying ships up there with uh with, with Shaq when he was young but it was the one that when he won when he was older that was better yeah that one hit different for some reason you know what i'm saying that was, that one that one hit different and yeah. also, bro, what I realized, what I think you said something very important right there when you said your definition of success is just knocking off your to-do list. People don't, people take that for granted. 
right? Mm-hmm. Talking like like right. just like that can define your success right there. We that not just winning every day, you just winning the day, you know, taking it one step at a time. Because That's I think it. like people try to think about you know success and winning on its grand scale when it's like yeah. it's a it, it takes a it's a process. So yeah. only way you can define See, that success is people day. haven't made the grand scale yet. So you have to be visionful for four. You know what I'm saying? You have to already write it out. You have to write your your, your year plan. You have to write your five year plan. You got to write your ten year plan. You know what I'm saying? You got to write your idea down in full detail. You got to do your vision board. Then you can break down off to, into small to do lists. So you can't really mm. care about your list because you haven't fully. You got you got reverse engineer it. You got to reverse gotta, engineer it. Exactly. Art of the war. It's the art of war. You have to already finish uh. the war first. You know what I'm saying? You have to already know where you're going. It has to be yep. already done. You know what I'm saying? Before you walk in the building. So once you have your art in the war and it's already done, once you once you in the building, then you can do your to-do list. I'm at my to-do list now at a point because I've, I've already had my art of a war approach. You know mm. what I'm saying? Now it's about me just being patient about what's coming my way. I love it, bro. Because if you, if you don't reverse engineer it and create your to-do list off of that, Somebody else going to find something for you to do. Somebody else going to make your to-do list for you. And all the activities on your to-do list is going to be reactionary to yes. other people's goals. Not, not, not proactive. Yes. All right. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that was that was a message right there. But nah, hey, bro, I'm, I'm very happy that you came here with us, bro. I want to thank you for coming, bro. You gave us some great information, great knowledge right there, bro. You you are tremendously valuable in... Uh, to me, bro, you going you gonna do some great things. You already doing great things, and it's just it's gonna get recognized. You feel me? So, it's yeah, bro. Yeah, man. I want I want to thank the audience. I want to thank my boy Christian. You know, thank you for everybody that tapped in. If you haven't yet, like and subscribe. You know, subscribe to the podcast. You feel me? That's all we ask. And um, have a good night. Yeah. I don't know if y'all got yeah. something y'all want. Tell them folks where you where they can follow you at, and you know if you got an Instagram or whatever. The we parlay or where they can go find you at so they can tap in more. Just let us know where you where can find you at, bro. Flex dot vision and also you can see all my other businesses, Platinum Slang, We Parlay, everything that's going on. Um other than that, um I mean we we working right now, man. I'm I'm working, I'm in my lab, man. I'm in the engineering lab right now. Um, you know, just trying to make these things shake, you know, trying to use, understand different platforms like United Masters. I always got to give United Masters a, a shout out and different things like that. So NFTs, if you want to get in the music game, NFTs, United Masters would be the way. And uh, just keep putting it out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir and you man. can go to ElginWoodsideJr.com and sign up for the block blockchain month, you feel me? Block month, you feel me? <laughs> but uh, let's... Uh, what else we got? The show notes. Look in the show notes. We're going to have my boy information in there, my boy Jalen. We're going to put all his social medias in there. We're going to put me and Christian's social medias in there. Yes, sir. Yeah, what you got, Chris? You got anything else? Man, bro? I just want to say, bro, so glad to see you, bro. You know, especially with everything going on in the world. You yes, know, sir. I just feel like we, it's, it's, it's good to tap in. Or just, you know, all the individuals that, you know, that we may not interact with. Like, you know, just making sure we tap in with each other as okay. much as we can. You know, you know, so it's important that we just continue to uplift each other. And I'm glad to see you, bro. I'm glad to see you doing well. Continue to do what you're doing. Keep inspiring. Keep motivating. And keep striving, dog. And, um, you know, like you said, you're doing great things already. But I know even more success and even more greatness about to come with, you know, just stay the course. You know what I'm saying? We're going we're gonna to be tapped in for sure. You know, keep us tapped in with whatever you have going on. Because, you know, we collaborate. And you, we, we manifest. And we're doing all that stuff. And we got to do it together. You know what I'm saying? So... Yep. Great to see you, bro. Great to see you. Yes, sir. Sounds good. Yes, sir, bro. We're going to be tapped in with you, man. Everybody have a good night. Thank y'all again, man. Stay blessed. All right. Bye. Yes, sir. Bye.